Welcome everybody to another training video. I'm your market analyst Adam Carberg. Today we're going to be having a look at the US dollar Swiss franc currency pair. So this pair um, is actually a really interesting uh, pair to, to trade. And a couple of the reasons is it's very much two of the stronger currencies that have act together in times of um, volatility and also in recessionary and inflationary pressure. And as we know, at the moment, and there's quite a lot of pressure around the market coming from these drivers and the recession in particular or the potential recession and um, high inflation figures that have plagued the market for much of the year have been driving a lot of the strength in the US dollar and the franc um, that has been tended to be one of the stronger currencies has also actually fallen um, against the US dollar although in recent times um, has seen some strength come in. So what we want to see, um, towards the end of the week, we have some important PPI figures, and then next week we have another announcement from the Fed over the interest rate changes. And these will very much drive which way the US dollar goes. But for the moment, what we've got is a potential long opportunity on the US Swiss franc. So just having a look at this weekly chart, um, first thing we can see, and we've discussed this before, is we've got this nice range really going back since um, 2010, 2011, um, after the GFC, and we've just chopping around between 1.03 to about 80, uh, 87, which is a pretty low range for a, for a currency pair of this, um, for a pair, but you know, it just gives us some strong support and resistance. And as we look a little bit closer in more recent times, we can see that we've got a support at, at about uh, 93, 92, around this area. And we've also got our resistance at about 1.006. So there's kind of our smaller range. And as we move into the daily uh, the daily chart, we get a really good idea of what we're looking at. So first and foremost, we can see that there's been this kind of upward trend, um, although it's not exactly perfect. And we've actually had a bit of a breakdown through this trend. Okay, so that's important to note, guys. In saying that, what we've actually come back to is just the bottom of this original range that we were looking at on that weekly chart. So if I'm looking at this chart, I'm looking for a potential long entry to the top of the range, or at the very least to the top of this recent kind of market structure. And what's really good is this at the moment that the market is showing, we'll just add some volume if we can. What this is showing is some really good risk reward entry right here gives us a great opportunity to put our stop loss really anywhere we feel comfortable depending on how much size we want to do um, and of course you know this kind of zone here is our next level of support this this, this is a whole zone of support so perhaps um, a little bit below there or even if you wanted to go further and have a bit of a bigger target you're still at two to one risk reward so that's really strong but Depending on how much size you want to do, we've got a really good potential entry here. Now, what we do want to wait for, because of course we are at a bit of an interesting time, we would want to see a real rejection of this zone before we decide to enter. So that may be a strong candlestick pattern going, you know, potentially just a bit of consolidation, a bounce um, before we enter, or um, a, a, just a very clear rejection. You know, perhaps some buying. We've seen a lot of selling in recent times. Um, the US dollar has really pulled back strongly. But, you know, if you are looking to go long the US dollar uh, against another currency, this pair does have offer some great risk reward. And, you know, especially if we can bounce back into this trend line, that'll give us some more confirmation of, um, you know, that we are moving, going to have another bounce. The a few concerning signs are that look, this 50 day moving average has kind of come right back down, which is a bit of a concern. And this 200 day moving average is kind of flatlining. So, you know, if this starts to go further south, we may see a breakdown and move back towards the lows. But for the moment, um, for the moment, it is just one to watch on that long entry and just waiting for that rejection. But there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and good luck trading.